Yo, what's going on? 67 on Squad today. We're doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing Kronos. Why am I playing Kronos? Um, well, two reasons. One, somebody asked me to. <coughs> Excuse me. And two, I really wanted to try out this power build. I've done it once before. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. Does this increase power? 15 plus 1.5 per level. There's no other relic that increases power, is there? There simply isn't. Um, I think we go... I mean, I guess we have to do this, right? This is probably the play. You have to go book. Let me go relics. Nothing gives you power. Like it, some stuff gives you more damage, like frenzy and shard and stuff like that. But it doesn't actually give you more power. So to compensate, um, I think I might just be keeping claw shard all game. And then the goal is basically get completely maxed, like. 500 pot, 3k pot. You know, the, the whole shebang, my dude. Why is he playing Bobby Yaga, though? Like on Gizzy. Like, I know you ain't think he's good. I know you don't think that god is good, bro. Wait, I'm getting shit on right now? Hold on. Damn. He's just going the Chronos pendant build. The crony pendant route. Can he clear? He can't clear. He doesn't have enough mana, right? Oh, maybe he does. Damn, you're telling me he clears and gets the back off? Oh, I am in such a bad situation here. Oh, well. Realistically, not much I can do here. He's just going to wait for me. Okay, I guess I'm just dead. Unlucky for me. not gonna go for me he's gonna go for his blue let's go book i really don't like going book by the way i think book is a trash item now but i do plan on going um i do plan on going doom orb and i plan on going uh bancrofts and typhons and they both have mana which will obviously help with the whole book of thought thing um Doom Warp has a lot of power, 145 plus, you know, the thing. Rod, obviously, at 150 power is an essential pickup for this build. There's quite a few things I'm going to have to do here, but... Ow. Jesus. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? It always comes to violence. Would you just simply look at it? That is very lucky for me. That's actually gargantuan for me. Time waits for no Obviously, he's going to go directly to my blue. That's unlucky. Oh, he can't jump anymore. You don't win this. That's all of his damage. Bro. Wait, how the hell? 
Chronos Pendant is that OP? Oh man, maybe I should go Chronos Pendant. That thing's bossing. Um, I don't really see how I win this. Man, you are laggy. Oh, okay. than likely won't ever kill him. Damn, really bad timing on the blue buffs this game. Gotta be honest, this is not one of my best. So far, it can get there, but so far it's honestly slightly tragic. Not having defense kind of blows. But, um, I don't know. I'm hoping once I get my power online, it'll be good. I mean, this is obviously not an early game build. You don't really go any cooldown. You don't really go any defense. It's all just damage, 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 damage. Now, the early game aspect of it is Bancroft's, which I should have done early, but I don't know. I was a little scared that. Like if I went, um, what is it called? If I, if I didn't go book first, then I just wouldn't be able to ramp fast enough. I guess I was scared from. It's fine. I back here. I grab this. I don't know if I can meet him at red. I hope so. It's not spawning yet. It is now spawning. This is scary. Hello. You don't scare me that bad at all. Okay. That's all of his potions. He's chucking at me. My dude is chucking. Wow. My attack speed. Bro. The amount of cooldown this guy has is just kind of incredible. I'm sucking. I'm sucking. I'm sucking. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I will definitely take that. Please don't take my blue. I really want this. Thank you. Um, He's going to go divine because why wouldn't he? I have Bancrofts and I'm pretty sure he knows I'm going Typhons. Should I go? Here's the question. Should I go? Um, what is it? Typhons next, or should I just go into Doom Orb? I'm thinking I just go Typhons. Because he's not really doing much yet. He's trying to backdoor my tower, but he's a mage. He also is going to go Poly. And I kind of do want Poly because. You know, building 2,000 power means we're going to have a lot of damage. And poly is based off of how much power you have. So, I mean, it makes sense to go poly or at least want to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in the build anywhere. I missed. I missed the one as well. I mean, I'm really not scared of him, I think. Not right now, at least. 
He threw four potions at me in the span of about a millisecond. Um, it's still okay, I think. I'm still okay. I don't think I'm in danger of dying here. Yeah, all he wants to do is backdoor with Polly. That's all he's doing. I'm doing pretty good damage. He doesn't have a lot of sustain. It's kind of unfortunate for me. Unfortunate in the sense that he... Uh, was able to dodge... But it's fortunate also, let's count our blessings, that he didn't pick up red. Right? Because if he picked up red, that would kind of suck. I really want this blue and I really cannot afford to lose it. I just can't. Him having defense. And he's going into anti-heal now. Um, It's going to hurt a lot. So. Let's go Doom Orb. And then from Doom Orb, we'll go into Rod. And then last item, I really don't know. I'm thinking Soul Reaver might be the play because it's 95 power and 300 mana. Ow. Ow. Do you have a 500 pot on right now? He does. Why? You want to backdoor me that bad that you're going to 500 pot? I have my health regen uh, sector on here. He just wants to backdoor at any moment. Ouch. At any and all moments. That's all he wants to do. I'm going to walk straight at him. Perfect. I'm starting to hit my power spike, which is basically just me having a ton of power. By the way, my third section does give me magical power. My goal this game, like I said, is 2000. I don't know if it's possible. But I'm going for it. I do have Doom Orb. I completely lied. Wow, that is way more expensive than I thought. No idea where he is. I really want this red though. Gonna clear the wave and then get the wave or get the buff. Maybe. I'm not gonna be able to get this buff. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. But he's gonna backdoor my tower as much as he can. Actually, I'm not gonna let that happen. Because I. Like I said, I'm going to just W key him. Sounds good to me. But is A okay to me? Oh, okay, I actually got fucking clapped. Never mind. Hmm. 
All right, you can't take my tower if he doesn't have minions. I have so much gold. We must empty their mines before we fill them. I kind of want to go red pot here because he's, like I said, he's just going to hit that poly and do everything he can to my tower. Oh, I mean, all the damage he's done to my tower this game is just him backdooring. Which is unfortunate, but also it's the truth. So what? Oh, well. I have 961 power already. And I'm missing two complete items. A 500 pot, a 3k pot, and a red buff. I think it's possible. And he just wants to hurt the fuck out of me. And it really does work. He's just taunting me. Oh, I missed. Mm. I mean, Rod is how much? 23? Maybe I can greed for it. 400 damage there is not bad. Great damage. Here's some pretty decent lifesteal too, to be honest with you. Yeah, you might have Polly, dude. You might have Polly, but guess what? I'm Kronos. Guess what? I am Kronos. I have a I have a Rod of Tahuti now. Time waits for no man. Look at that. Look at that. With red buff, 1242, and that's without my bracer. Or full stacks on um ouch. I'm going to go take your tower. Is that cool with you? 1400 power? I missed. I'm actually dead here. Yeah. I actually lose Phoenix here, I think. Hit me with four, yeah, four potions for 1800 damage. That's the downside of this build. I mean, well, there's a lot of fucking downsides, but the biggest downside is that, um, well, I mean, simply, I have no defense. Uh, I'm thinking I'll go lifesteal here, like Spear the Magus instead. Because I feel like I need to. Oh, my damage, dude. My God. Okay. Wow, I am just dead. Nice. Nice. I can actually maybe get his Phoenix. Believe it or not. Because of how much power I have, I might actually be able to. Yeah. Okay. That's that's power. That is power. Now, really quickly, please. 
Get a red buff before I run back. I don't think I can. I have to back. He gets red. Unlucky. We must empty their minds. That is super unfortunate that he gets red. But oh well. He does so much damage. I have to be so careful messing around with him. Okay. Ow. Let me um upgrade this. Okay. It's honestly not that bad for me. Honestly, not that bad for me. So, in my bracer, with my two, I have 1500 power. With that, I have 1600. Okay. I mean, I'm at 1600 power already. That's pretty. That's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty redonk ronkus. Ouch. Okay. Well, unfortunately, he gets Phoenix there. Actually, hold up. My one just hit him, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You are lucky to be alive, my guy. Ow. That hurt. You got to run, brother. When does this red come up? Soon, TM. Ow. Okay. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Perfect. Hmm. So now, with Bracer, 1700 power. If I get a 3k pot, that's 2k. I'm at there. Like, I'm at the, I'm at the power mark, boys. It was definitely harder for me, this matchup. At least, like... Ow. Yeah, I mean, at least... Hold on. Okay, I have to ult this. I definitely die here, by the way, and I lose the game. <gasps> oh! Wow! My only play, my only play to not instantly lose the game is to kill him. And my one did like 900 damage or something. That's incredible. That's so insane. My God. Now, I don't have a 500 pot or... 
a red buff, but I will have a 3k pot. And by the way, he had a 3k pot during that fight. I don't know. That's a stupid ass item, by the way. Obshard, like, uh, I don't know why he has that. A new pigment. But lucky for me, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna go get a 500 pot real quick. Material work is such a trend. <sighs> All right, 1600 without bracer and without red buff. That's a lot. Okay, I run. Did I miss everything? Um, does he get red buff here? He doesn't want to. Or he does want to. That's good damage. Damn, dude. I want to see with this and this in this. Yeah, 1880. If I had red buff, yeah, I'm like 2400 power. Am I dead? Mm. Oh, I lost the game here. Yeah, game's over here. Because he just ults and I'm dead. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Like, dangerously close, but... Currently okay. Alright, that did 1200 damage, by the way. It also did like 1200 to me. Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna buy a 3k defense pot here. Because I already have a 3k uh, attack and 500 red, so. The cosmos beckons. Dude, I really don't know what to do here. I think he backed. Dead back. Oh, whoa, <laughs> my 
one hit him for a thousand and my auto attack hit him for 600. Oh my God. I did not think I was going to win that game. But there you go. I mean, that's... Let's see. What, is, what does Red Buff do? How much power is Red Buff? Hold on. I'm going to go into training practice real quick because I don't want to lie to you guys. Because I had 1,900 power. Like, it was 1,890 or something. Um, ew, I don't want to be Papa Yaga. Uh, let's be anyways. I'm just going to go pick up red buff and see how much power it is. And then once I do that, I can mathema mathematize. <laughs> I can mathematize and see exactly how much power we had that game. Uh, set level 20. Buff camps. Hello, red buff. All right, so it gives you 10% magical power plus 10 flat. So it brings me from 1890 to 1900 flat and then 10% on top, which is 190 if you have 1900, right? Obviously, which brings me to 2000. It's about 2100. So 2100 power. Insane. Actually insane. I just closed the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.